Well, Watson, what do you make of it? How did you know what I was doing? You must have eyes in the back of your head. I have at least a highly polished coffee pot in front of me. James Mortimer, MRCS, from his friends at the CCH, 1884. Since we were out when the owner of that stick called last night, and since we have no notion of his errand, this accidental souvenir becomes of importance. You've examined it. Let me hear you reconstruct the man. Uh, Dr. Mortimer is a uh, successful elderly medical man, well esteemed since those who know him gave him this mark of their appreciation. Good, excellent. Uh, he is a um, country practitioner. Oh. Uh, the feral is so worn down, he must do a great deal of his visiting on foot. Perfectly sound. Uh, then there is this uh, friend of the CCH. H, I should guess, stands for Hunt, the local Hunt, to which he has rendered frequent surgical assistance, and which has made him this presentation in return. Really, Watson, you excel yourself. Oh. Some people without genius have a remarkable power for stimulating it. I confess, my dear fellow, I'm deeply in your debt. Uh, has anything escaped me? I trust I've overlooked nothing of consequence. I'm afraid, my dear Watson, that most of your conclusions were erroneous. Mm. Not that you're entirely wrong. The man is certainly a country practitioner and he walks a good deal. Oh, then I was right. To that extent. But I suggest that a presentation to a doctor is more likely to come from a hospital than a hunt and that when one notes the CC before the H, Charing Cross Hospital very naturally comes to mind. You may be right. Uh, what uh, further inferences may we draw? You know my methods. Apply them. Well, he obviously practiced in town before going to the country. And received this presentation on leaving. He couldn't have been on the staff of the hospital since a man so well established wouldn't drift into the country. He could only have been a junior. And he left five years ago, the date's on the stick. So, in place of your grave middle-aged practitioner, my dear Watson, there emerges a young fellow under 30, unambitious, absent-minded, and the possessor of a favorite dog. Oh, uh, Mortimer, James, MRCS, Grimpen, Dartmoor, Devon, House Surgeon 82, 84, Charing Cross Hospital. And the dog has been in the habit of carrying the stick behind its master. The dog's jaw, as seen in the space between the tooth marks, is too broad, in my opinion, for a terrier, but not broad enough for a mastiff. It may be... Yes, it is. A curly-haired spaniel. Oh, my dear fellow. How could you possibly be so sure? For the simple reason that I see the dog itself upon our doorstep. And there is the ring of its owner.